Hi there, my name's Andrew McCullough, and I've been down in Haiti for the last three weeks working with Direct Relief International to get our medic medical supplies and medicines distributed uh, in the earthquake affected areas. Um, the situation down there is obviously very intense. Everyone is still sleeping outside. The government is advising people not to go back into their homes until the aftershocks cease and the, the homes have been tested structurally. The first week I was down there, we were able to get 60 pallets worth of essential medicines and supplies in country. And we put them initially into a warehouse that we arranged to, to store this equipment and, and medicine. And over the course of the three weeks, we identified roughly 25 new, new hospitals and clinics in and around the uh, Port-au-Prince area. Another 50 pallets are scheduled to come in and we're hoping to both expand our network outside of Port-au-Prince, areas to the north and south where people are going to receive uh, medical attention once they've left Port-au-Prince. We were staying in, initially in a hotel, but um, the hotel was kind of unsafe, so most people are sleeping outside in tents just on the hotel grounds. Um, after that first week, we moved into a house um, with another group of, of doctors from coming in from Tennessee to work in a clinic and they'd rotate in for a week at a time. Uh, weather is definitely an issue. They're worried about sort of outbreaks of different things. TB is a big concern and scabies is running through these camps as there's often no latrines or showers. Um, clean water is uh, an issue. And so the urgent need uh, among these shelter groups is to get people at least in waterproof tents with waterproof tarps um, as it is becoming rainy season. I think the vibe right now on the ground is one of uncertainty and a little bit of fear. I mean, people have just lived through the most horrific tra um, tragedy, you know, in their lifetime. And they were, they're trying to get themselves back on their feet and to think that there's kind of another disaster looming, which is the hurricane season, I think is scary. And I think a lot of people are just trying to get ready for that if they can. In the immediate short term, we're focusing on identifying new partners. At this stage, there are a lot of NGOs in the area, but, but people are already starting to kind of move out. And we're seeing now that hospitals and clinics who were well staffed and well supplied with overseas doctors are now needing more support we are gonna hire some local Haitian staff that will help us run some of the grant programs, some of the logistical uh, work that we need from getting things from the ocean port to our partners. So we're staffing up our presence in Haiti as we speak and we have our staff here from Direct Relief rotating in and out of Port-au-Prince on a kind of a three week basis to make sure that we have all the bases covered. We also are going to create a community grant fund for this next year where we're gonna offer uh, small grants to local Haitian community organizations to make sure that the groups that were working there before the earthquake and are trying to get back on their feet or have expended all funds trying to respond have access to all the generous donations that are out there and that the local groups aren't big-footed by the large international NGOs and they have a chance to continue their programs like they were before. So we have $500,000 committed to local groups in Haiti and we'll be managing small cash grants so that they can continue to do their work. We're working very closely with the government in a small working group with only three other NGOs to develop the, the long-term plan for rehabilitation. The long-term needs from injuries after earthquakes tend to be orthotics. There's a lot of physical therapy needed and in the worst case there are prostheses and we've run a large prosthesis program in Pakistan following the earthquake in 2005 and we're essentially going to use the model that was successful there so that in years to come there are still facilities that people who are injured with the earthquake uh, in January are able to go and receive care whether it be physical therapy something for a spinal cord injury or prosthesis uh, adjustments or actually the fitting of a new limb. The rains will start in Haiti in April and the hurricane season will start in June because there are so many people living in com you know, compromised shelters or temporary living quarters that we are going to have to beep, beef up our hurricane preparedness program that we've been running in Haiti. Uh, we'll have to increase the number of sites that receive modules, which we've designed, uh, that treat about a thousand patients if there's a hurricane. Uh, and we're really going to have to take care of those people who 
don't have a medical home and we're gonna have to think of new creative ways to make sure that these people have access to healthcare.